but we don't know a lot of the context and claims in a deposition are not fact or evidence. So what recourse do these people have? Well, very little recourse. They were given their, I guess, an attempt at due process by the judge by saying, if you want to object, you can object. In President Clinton's case, he uh, declined at the end. And by the way, some of, you know, obviously I haven't spent all the time, um, and I don't know anybody who has so far, but the things that have been read to me so far would never be admissible in court. Somebody saying that Jeffrey, who is now dead, told me that Clinton said, that's multiple levels of hearsay. That's never coming into evidence. And so I don't know what the end game is here by the people who are somewhat breathless about the release of this. But ultimately, at the end of the day, my belief is that you had very capable lawyers representing these victims. They, if they thought there was somebody who was in the crosshairs who could be exposed to criminal exposure, they would have dealt with the, that already with the authorities and would have given that information to the authorities. And most of the stuff here was exactly as you read it in that uh, setup piece uh, with my friend Laura. Um, that, it's basically supposition on supposition and other kinds of things. And basically, when you look at it, a lot of it conflicts. I mean, they say, yes, Bill Clinton was on the plane for uh, multiple times. But at the same time, some of the accusers said he was on the island. Others, there was no substantiation for that. So in some ways, it exculpates. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.